How you guys doing? Killer Quad here. Hey, uh, I've got somebody dropped off a whole bunch of tire balls to me. I'm going to show you guys how to do a set of tire balls. Uh, it's going to be real quick. It's not going to be too, too long of an explanation, but it'll give you a good idea. I left this one last ball. We popped them out of the tires. This still has about six pounds of air in it. So all I do is stick a needle in it and let it drain. I let it give it a little help every now and again. Once it stops bleeding on its own, I squeeze it a little bit, get a little bit more out of it. Take the needle out. Tire balls are ready to go on the tire now. Let's do it. Good old Maxxis Razor 2. We're going to take some of the uh, tire ball, uh, ball and tire uh, lubricant. Silicone. Give it a little squirt all in the carcass of the tire. Don't want to use a whole lot. Just draw some lines in it. Get yourself an old little paintbrush. Go through and spread it all over. Have to go back and forth over the spots a couple times. Make sure you really spread it out. And that looks pretty uniform on the inside. Check this sidewall. Yeah. All you want to do is make it look like it's greased up a little bit. You don't want want it running all over the tires, all that stuff. You don't get that much of that uh, lubricant uh, when you purchase tire balls. You can get a whole tire balls and they'll uh, sell you all of it that you want. I've got a whole desk drawer full of them. So <laughs> <clears throat> Now, time to put in the tire balls. These are already, seeing as how they were used already, there's already still a bunch of lubricant still left on them. You can just see my gloves, you know, whenever I'm done with them, they're, they're lubricated enough. Don't really have to do anything else to them. There's one ball in here, though, I will show you. It's a newer ball, and it doesn't have a whole lot on it. So, you take some of that tire ball lubricant, make a little size, a splash about the size of a dime. Massage it in. Like I said, you don't need a whole bunch of it. A little will go a long way. And there you go. It's it's lubed. Start stuffing them in. I try to have them so all the valves are facing obviously the same way. You know, it's kind of a pain at first because the balls just want to roll out. But as you get more in there, they'll start straightening themselves out. This particular rider only wanted 12 of the 2103 tire balls in here. Uh, tire balls gives you 14 balls in, in a package. This rider wants 12. These are the, the off-road balls. They're the little bit more expensive ones. See, they fall out every now and again. Just keep stuffing. Keep stuffing. They fall out. Don't get frustrated. Where's the valve? Every rider has their preference. So I, I actually prefer to run uh, 13 of the MX or the motocross balls, the 2003 balls in my setups, especially in a 21 inch Razor 2. Uh, but these are, like I said, the cross country or the, the heavy duty off road balls, if you will. So they're a little bit bigger at times, but uh, oh well. 
he has his preference and he's doing pretty good on them. He's comfortable with the amount of air that we put in them. There we go. Starting to straighten up a little bit. I'm going to grab the camera and give you an up-close look here in just a second. And ugh, stuff that last one in there. Double check, just make sure there's really 12. There he is. Push them around a little bit. Make sure all the valves are facing the same way. Makes it a lot easier to air them up. Here we go. You can see it's all 12 balls inside. I'm going to set it down. Wipe off a little bit. And I have one of the tire ball octopuses. These are fantastic, especially if you do a lot of tire balls. I do a lot of tire balls. So, go along through here, well, get some more silicone that comes with uh, the balls too to dip your needles in. It helps lubricate the valves so your valves don't get stuck or you don't rip them and get a slow leak and all that. It lubricates the needles. Think of that however you want. Okay, I'm hoping you guys can see this. I've got all the needles, all the lines, and every single ball. Open all the valves up that are attached to tire balls. Like these four, way over here, these four aren't. I'm not opening those valves. Then we're just going to air them up. I normally always go a little bit over the pressure, but then I'm going to finalize them just so all the balls smush together and they move around however they want. And I drain them again. There we go. 6 PSI is what this guy wants to run in his front tires. And that's what he's got. Shut all the valves off. Pull all the needles out. There we are. We're ready to go mount. Show you that in just a second.